welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a first look at a game that's been on my radar for a little while now, but I haven't gotten around to recording it until today. And this game's actually called AI Evolution, which is basically AI and evolution mixed together, if you didn't already gather that. Now, this game essentially uses evolution via machine learning to adapt creatures that you create to do better and better in races to then unlock more races and more stuff. And the creatures you can create are kind of ridiculous. As you can see, I've already started creating creatures just so I could get a feel for how the game works so I could explain it better than having no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so I started off with Scrap Noob here and Scrap Noob's a bit of a noob. So here, I'll just go into a basic flat race just, just to show you what this game is like. It's really cheesy, but it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> So, uh, these are a couple of iterations of Scrap Noob. I'm on the 15th birthday of these guys, which means it's the 15th generation of these things. So you can start to see where the differences are coming out now, uh, between these generations. Uh, down here you have, this is my record right here, and I think this is where I had to get to, this 30 yard line, uh, to unlock the next level. So, I've just broken my record with somebody. That was what that sound meant. So now we go on to the next generation, and I'm pretty sure the winner of the last round is now what these guys are kind of mutated off of. So this is very similar to the evolution races you've seen in Trailmakers, except machine learning instead of human learning, which is prone to much more error. So let's go back and I'll show you my second attempt at building something just to see what the differences were. And then we're gonna build something new. So we started off with Scrap Noob and then I made Scrapper here. And uh, this is what Scrapper looks like when he does a flat land race. All right, show him what you've done. <laughs> oh no, this is not an impressive performance so far, is it? I, I am very concerned. With, I, he was doing, I promised he got all the way over to here before. I don't know what happened to him this round. I do not know. Sometimes, sometimes you just do not get the best evolutionary scenario. Oh my good. You're embarrassing me, Scrapper. So if you haven't guessed already, you have from the time the sun comes up till the time the sun goes down to get as far as you can. So when the sun goes down, that indicates the end of the race. So it is timed as far as that goes. And if you wanted to, you can press the fast forward button just so you can fast forward the daytime and not have, not have to be embarrassed for much longer than you already are. Let's create a new one now. And we're gonna see how this new one will do compared to those ones. So when you create a creature, I guess we'll call them, you have different bases to choose from, different heads basically and the differences between these heads are where you can attach limbs some of them have more attachment points than others and some of them have different positions like this one obviously has three attachment points at the bottom the triangle is really interesting here because it has three attachment points but they're all circular around it which could make for some rolling action um this one has five which is kind of ridiculous this one has them on the sides so you can see we just have a lot of variation this is the one i use for the scrapper evolution uh, so for this Flatland one, I really thought that- whoops, not that. I really thought this was gonna be the best one for Flatland, but I think I've just been proven wrong. So let's try to create something that can roll. So you choose your head and then you go onto your limbs and you have a couple of different limbs to choose from that have various, uh, ranges of motion. So you can see this one will only move to the right and back by like 45 degrees. This one will move to the right and back by 90 degrees. This one can only move to the left and back by 45, the left and back by 90. This can rotate both directions 45, both directions 90 degrees, or just, I, I'm assuming this one's just a static limb. That's what I'm gonna go with for that. And if we wanna be able to go in a forward direction, I'm gonna say we're gonna wanna start by moving a leg backwards. So let's go with a 45 degree backwards right here. And we're gonna put this right there. Oh, they actually, it designates it to come out directly straight from the body. That actually might not be good then from the back. So I can click on this and I can cut it. So that might be better on here because now it's gonna be able to move like this. So after you put the leg on, you can choose a foot to have on the leg. And these feet actually, they do hinge like an ankle does. So I can put just a small foot right there. Um, if I didn't want that, I could do a medium one. It's just bigger. That one looks a little bit excessive for this build. So let's go ahead and do the small one. So from what I understand, this will flex down like this. 
which I think should be good as it rotates this way. You can also have a foot facing in the other direction, so it would, rot it would flex like this, essentially. All right, now, since I want this thing to essentially go in a circle, I'm actually going to do the same limb on all of the sides and give it the same range of motion. So this should hopefully be capable of just keeping it pushed in a circular motion. So now, on top of that, you can actually select each individual limb and adjust its length. And so I'm actually going to adjust these a little bit shorter and you can also adjust its thickness and I don't actually know what the thickness does. And then you can adjust the brain and the brain it tells it basically what kind of goals are we looking for in addition to getting the farthest. So this is do you want to prioritize getting off the ground? If you bump this meter up it'll gear more towards jumping kind of motions whereas down here it'll it'll won't do that as much and then this is kind of the opposite. If you bump this up it'll try to stay closer to the ground and this will not prioritize staying close to the ground at all. You're basically setting a priority level for jumping, priority level for being low, a priority level for, wait, what is this again? You can hit the question mark. Velocity. So you can you can change the velocity priority. Do you want it to gear towards going faster or do you want it to not care about going faster? I'm gonna say, let's, we wanna go fast. And then this one I don't quite understand yet. It seems to be related to how quick the movement of the joints are, whether it's like jerky and rapid or more slow and deliberate. So I'm just gonna keep that in the middle for now. And now we have our creature. Let's go ahead and, oh, this is gonna be uh, the tri scrap because it's like a triangle, I don't know. All right, so let's test it on flat land for a couple of generations. Then we're going to move on to uh, downhill, which I think this one's going to going to excel at. And then I haven't even tried any of my creatures on the uphill challenge, which I think this will not be a good uphill creature. But once we beat this one, then we unlock stairs. Oops, we have to complete something to unlock that. And we unlock all kinds of like obstacle courses and things like that. So let's start with flat land just so we can see how it compares to my previous two attempts. I'm hoping after like five generations, we're gonna beat our previous two attempts. All right, come on, go, go. Okay, it's not, it's not going. It's not, it, it takes some time sometimes for it to figure out that it can move more than one thing. All right, next generation, let's do this. There we go, now we're making some progress. We already broke our record. You're not rolling like I was hoping, but it's only generation two, we might learn in the future. I also may not have chose limbs that had enough uh, degrees of motion. All right, come on, you can do it. This is actually really good. We're doing really good right now. I'm impressed. This is only second generation. We went from nothing to 20 centimeters. I thought it was meters and centimeters. Okay, this is apparently, a, I should have guessed by, if you look at the uh, environment, we got like paper clips and uh, other things that show that we're in a pretty small environment here. All right, so let's fast forward a couple generations. 22 centimeters is our record, and we're gonna see where we can get after, let's say seven generations. All right, here we go, generation seven. Let's see what generation seven's all about now. It seems to have a much more consistent and uh, like cyclical motion now. It's not as random as it was before. It seems to have found it's like just, it's groove. We got a groove now. So as you can see, it's just, our record is right here. I don't know if we're gonna get to the same record this time. We're getting really, really close. I think we may have, it may have reached this like opto. Oh, oh, almost just behind where it was before. So we got a 31.5 centimeters that time. So I really wanna try this thing out on a slope now to see if rolling is, if it's capable of learning how to roll. I really hope it is. Let's go ahead and select this thing. We're gonna select the downhill slope. And actually before we do that, let's see what is, 71 centimeters is the record of this guy on the downward slope. So let's see what this guy can do. All right, um, I'm very surprised to say this, but um, the triangle is doing terrible on the downward slope. And I think it's because we taught it on flat land. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this now. I'm gonna cut these legs off, which will actually essentially create a new brain here, which, will mean that, which means it'll learn from scratch. And I'm gonna change it from 45 degrees, uh, to 90 degrees. And I'm hoping this is gonna make this go much smoother this time. All right, I'm also going to minimize the length and maximize the thickness of the legs. And I'm gonna bump up this, which I think is gonna bump up the twitchiness, which I think could kick us into a roll more likely. And you know what? Let's bump up the uh, prioritizing getting off the ground because I really want this thing to kick itself up into the air, which I think is gonna get us into a roll. If we have a chance of getting into a roll, that's probably it. All right, there we go. Look at that. That's a great start. But then again, I kind of thought it was a great start last time and it was a very similar result. 
So, all right, let's fast forward. He's still trying. I don't like that he's trying that though. I don't want him to learn. I don't want that to become a habit. All right, generation two, any good improvement here? Oh, 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 it's starting. It's starting. The roll is beginning. I think it's, oh, look at that. That's exactly what I wanted. That quick twitch getting off the ground. That is why we prioritize the brain for those features. Oh, this is exactly it. Look at that, two generations and it's already doing what I wanted it to do based off of these adjustments. That is amazing. All right, so 71 centimeters was my record with my previous version. If I can beat that with this guy, I'll be happy. Cause I think I've engineered this thing now specifically for this challenge. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's this guy got going on here? You got some good, you got some good jumps going on, man. Who are you? Where did you come from? Whoa, 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 we smashed the record. 82? I didn't think we were gonna break 70. We did it at generation 15. I was gonna call it at that. They felt the pressure and they made it. I'm, I am, I am happy with the try scrap. Okay, now we need to think about uphill. How are we gonna get uphill now? All right, I feel like I've created a terrible monster here, but I, I wanna see what it's gonna do. Um, I feel like, why wouldn't you prioritize speed? I don't know. Um, everything else, I kinda think I want this thing to stay on the ground. We're gonna prioritize ground. Yeah, higher means lower. A little bit counterintuitive, but this is priority level. So ground priority. We're gonna have Bigfoot. There we go. All right, guys, you may notice we're on generation seven. And um, I think I've created an evolutionary abomination that does not deserve to live. How do we go uphill? I think this guy might be an uphill, he might be an uphill battler. All right, we're gonna give him legs that go 90 degree backwards and he's gonna have a wheelie bar to prevent him from flipping backwards. This is literally just gonna be a wheelie bar. All right, make me proud. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, 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 we got some progress. Oh, look at him, look at him. Look at him, we got a contender. I just have to shorten up the legs. We needed stubby little legs. <laughs> this thing looks a little bit awkward. I'll admit this is not the most reasonable looking creation that I've made, but we're gonna watch this thing climb the hill to victory. All right, that was only generation one of this new one. All right, I'm, I'm having high hopes now. All right, guys, I don't know what happened. We're on generation 13 and this is the current state of affairs. This is, uh, they seem to have lost all motivation to try to race anymore. Like, we're not getting, I don't know why, how does this happen? You had better evolutions, just go back. We have to go back. <laughs> how do you devolve? All right, you know what? Maybe that body was just not the best body for this. So let's start with uh, a new kind of body. We're gonna do this one. This is like octopus chicken farmer. It's got like the hat and it looks like a chicken. I don't know why the face looks like a chicken to me. I guess this would be a pentapus, not an octopus. Uh, obviously we gotta call it the pentapus. All right, generation eight. I think we've got something. I think we've got something that moves forward. Okay, I was wrong. They all gave up. There we go. There we go. We're making some progress now. Yes, yes. This is so much faster. His movements are so much faster. He just has to learn how to do that the whole time. All right, let's go a couple more generations ahead. This is so much. No, wait, maybe not even a couple. Of oh, guys, I think this might be it. Yeah, it was his first time using his limbs. I think this might be it. Come on. No, do what you did. Do what you did. Okay, you know what? This guy's going to do what you were doing instead. Yes. Yes. Yes, keep going. Come on, you're racing the sun here. Come on, keep going. You can do it. You can do it. 30 centimeters is all I need. 30 centimeters. We made it to 27. That was a new record. Come on, keep going. Keep going. 26. Come on. You just got to All right, 28, 29. Oh, you got to be kidding me. It was 0.2 centimeters away. All right, we can do this then. We can do this. This is going to be it. I'm feeling... Oh, look, look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's got it. He's got it. We have unlocked the... Stairs? Downward stairs challenge? That's gonna be so easy. You know who we're using for the No, I don't need this anymore. We're done. We're done with the uphill challenge. I spend way too much time on the uphill challenge. You no, know, we are going back to the try scrap here, and try scrap is gonna do some downstairs walking. Alright, try scrap, don't disappoint me. You know what to do. You know you 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 know what to there you, you know what to do. Yeah, there we go. Push, yeah, and push, and and then push, push, push. Uh 
Okay, that's good too. You know, it's a good start. It's a good start. It's a new, it's a new environment. You gotta learn what to do. Okay, we got some good contenders this time. We got a lot of good contenders this time. Green here, he had a strong push off at the start and he's just going 40, 44, 45. This is it, this is it. Look at that challenge unlocked. That took a couple of generations. I don't know how many. We were building our previous generations. All right, now I think we're going upstairs. Did that say upstairs? Go, go, go. I think that said upstairs. If we're going up, you know, we're going back to um this guy here. Oh, I still have it called Pentapus. That's totally the wrong name. All right, we're gonna select you. This is not gonna go well, people. Okay, that was a way, this is a way more promising start than I was expecting. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. What? What? Oh, you flipped over. That was a good start though. I'm happy with that. All right, we have potential. Man, you know what is so tough about this challenge is the stairs are all so irregularly spaced and like the height is different on every step. So to have like, to come up with a motion that can account for randomness in like the stairs is the issue here. But these guys, whoa, 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 we did it. I was not expecting this to be the run. We did not have good runs the past couple of times. That was amazing. They smashed it. All right. Well, I was going to say it's a hard challenge, but not for Pentapus here. All right. What do we unlock? Oh boy. We have unlocked the pitch challenge. All right. You know what? Uh, let's go back. I don't think I want Pentapus on the pitch challenge. All right. We're going to do something completely new because I don't want to ruin the evolutionary track of any of the previous creatures. So if we're doing a pit here, I think we need to be able to avoid falling into a pit. And I think this guy is the guy to do it. All right, and then we're gonna want this thing to be, have priority on jumping and speed and twitching. We're gonna go with this kind of setup right here. All right, and we're gonna call it Scrap Pits because it's the pitch challenge. Oh, this is interesting, isn't it? Oh, okay. I think we have a contender here. If you didn't just drop all of your legs into the gap, I would have been impressed. But you know what? This is generation one. He had no idea what he was getting into. Oh, look at this guy. This guy's got to figure it figured out. I think we're going to do this. This is the one. This this is the creature for this. Look at this. He's got so much balance. He's like, has his arms out for balance. He's got his legs just kind of, you know, skirting the gaps. I think we got this. All right, guys, we're going to the extreme now. I didn't have any success with the last one, but we're going with Pentapus Extreme. Oh, why did I not think of this before? We don't want him to fall into those pits. So, oh yes. Look at this, no way this guy's gonna fall in. And we just make all these super law. Oh my guys, this right here. This is how you get through the pits. Yes, Pentapits. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you that Pentapits was a failed creation. And unfortunately, the artificial intelligence is more like an artificial unintelligence. So I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to this game if you're interested in it. It's only like three bucks on Steam and uh, I had a lot of fun trying to play with it. It did get a little bit frustrating that the AI did seem to get dumber over time. Like the more generations you end up going through, sometimes it just starts to lose progress. But other than that, it's hilarious to watch and the sounds are kind of creepy. That could be a plus or a minus depending on who you are, I guess. So yeah, if you manage to get to the end of the game, let me know down in the comments below, because apparently if once you reach the end of the game, you unlock a special item called uh, the golden sneaker. You must complete the final level to unlock the golden sneaker. And unfortunately, I did not make it to the final level. I only got to, um, it looks like the second to last level. So I have no idea what this final level is, which I guess leaves it as a surprise to anyone else who decides to play it after watching this video. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you might enjoy some other stuff on the channel. So go ahead and check this out right here. If you want to support the channel, then check out the merch with the merch link down below. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.